again, peeps. So we are back with my last and final unboxing because I feel as if I do another unboxing, I just will not have any more self-respect. So <laughs> I have three boxes here. Um, I don't know what the box count is on this video, but I'm sure it's not good. So we'll just hop right in. And yeah, so I made a order three places that I have never actually ordered before. So not with this box. I'm not really scared with this box, but the other two, I'm kind of frightened. Um, this box is from Ken Philodendrons. And then I did another order on eBay. And then a third order on Taylor Greenhouses. Quarantine is kind of hurting my pockets right now. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to get out soon. So so we'll see. Water degradable peanuts. That's the first thing I see. Is um Ken's well, he has two websites. One is called Ken's Nursery, and the other is called Ken's Philodendron, and I'm pretty sure it's the same person because it says Ken's Nursery on here. But on Ken's Nursery, none of the things are in stock. And the things are in stock on Ken's Philodendrons. So, I mean, yay. Botanical Growers Network, we pack with water degradable Peanuts, peanuts de decompose in water, leaving a non-toxic waste. FDA compliant, made a vegetable starch pet safe. So potentially you could eat these. No, I'm, I'm not going to do that, but yeah, you could. Um, and then it has a botanical growers, just little pamphlet, if you can see that. And on it is a spider, or not a, what is it? Not a spider plant. Um, oh, bat plant. That's what it is. Bat plant. And did you know that um, Home Depot started selling those plants? Just an FYI. They have them. They don't have small ones. They have like gigantic ones where you only need a huge house. So this is my little invoice or whatnot. And then I'm... Oh, things are falling on the floor. Okay. Um... I'm guessing this is bare root, but I do feel something hard. I'm not actually sure. That's what she said. Anyways, um, yeah, things are falling everywhere, but it's okay. It is a okay. Yeah, this is definitely bare root because I don't feel like a fatter part on this. So I'm just hoping that this is the bottom. It's very tall, very tall. And it said that this was before it was shipped. It was in a seven inch pot. So yeah, and this is like this paper napkin feeling type stuff. I'm gonna put the box on the floor because I don't feel any dirt coming out, but we shall see. Ooh, I almost fell on my chair. I almost fell on my chair. Okay, get it together, Ashley. So this feels like paper and napkin type stuff. And then they have tissue paper. Um, be good, please. Okay, so there is a lot of dirt. Ooh. We're gonna pick this box right back on up. There is a lot of dirt. And it's in like this net pot thing. Real cute. Okay. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Okay. So this is supposed to be Philodendron Mexicanum. Okay. 
I got this because the Mexicana has like these like pink undersides, but I'm not, I'm not seeing this. Looks more like a bipinifolium to me right now, at least. I'm not sure, but those trunks are real thick, real thick. So, I'm just gonna open this and see what it looks like in there. Almost like tied up. How did they fit this into this small little pot? That's like magic to me. Okay, and it has like moss and soil on top. But like, look at this. Look at that. Whoa, that's super crazy, right? Like, what? Where? How? Okay. But then there is an aerial route coming straight down into it. So that's good. This is a huge plant. I paid. I think it was like $49 and then $20 shipping. So it was like 70 bucks. Um, but I guess we'll let this plant grow out to see what it looks like. But I'm not completely convinced that it's a Mexicano because it doesn't look like the ones I've seen. And it kind of doesn't look like the ones on the website. So, I mean, We'll see. And then we do have some leaf ribbage. Let it chill out for a second while I unbox the rest of these things. Okay, on to the next box. I'm really excited about this one. This is the one from eBay. And I'm like getting into, I'm expanding my plant journey. So recently I've been into sanguineas, sanguineas. Um, they're in the Jesneria family, which is like a cousin, which is the same family that, um, African violets are in. The difference is like san sanguineas are usually tubers. So they have tubers that they grow from and then they go dormant in the winter. So I ordered two. And then I also won an auction. These things were like kind of cheap. I paid like eight or nine dollars for these. So we shall see. Oop. And it's packed in like this shredded paper. Um, yeah. Let's see, let's see. Did she send bear root too? Or bear tuber rather? Oh, nope. Okay. Let's try and dislodge. Okay. So this is the first one. I have no idea which one is which. So this was sent in a two inch pot and it's got like the fuzzy leaves and stuff really cute feels like an african african violet um i'm sure there's like a small tuber down in there so she did label it kind of and this is san san esther so i'll put uh the picture that she had of the plant on eBay, I'll show you guys a picture of that. So that's the first one, that was the Esther. So this is the second Sanguinea, Sanguinea. And we actually talked about this plant um, at the um, Raleigh. My neighbor's mowing, can you hear it? Okay, so he's gotten away from in front of my window. Um, 
So where was I? The I just dislodged this sanguinea. And it's in this little tiny two-inch pot too. Um, and this one's leaves kind of remind me of the African violets leaves. It's a little thinner. They feel a little thinner. But this is how it looks. Doesn't it remind you of like an African violet? And then it's trailing out. And this is supposed to be the tomorrow variety. And I'll show you a picture of that. So, yeah. On to the last and final box. Now, this box is from Taylor Greenhouses. And um, like I said, I'm trying to expand my plant um, knowledge, reach, interest. So I've been getting more into begonias. So that should tell you a little bit about something or the things that are in this order. So they have cultural instructions for newly received plants. Unpack immediately. Any damage must be reported within seven days of receipt. So it just gives you unpacking material or unpacking um, instructions. And then this is my invoice. And this one actually has the breakdown of what I paid. So that should be very helpful. I'm just gonna sit that right there. Um, so yeah. Okay, let's dig in and throw things everywhere. Yay! Okay, first begin. Okay. Wow, wow. Okay. Dang it, I... I just realized I don't know which one's this or which one's which one. So, spoiler alert, I got mostly rhizomatic um, or rhizomous, rhizomatic, rhizomous um, begonias because I just like rhizomes. I like Philodendron gloriosum. I like Philodendron plamanii. Why wouldn't I like a begonia with a rhizome too? I feel like they're the sickest ones. So this is a begonia. <laughs> I have to look them up. I'll probably be putting the names of the begonias as I pull them out. So I'm pretty sure that this is begonia popeni, popenoi. Um, I'll probably correct myself if I'm wrong, but that's, that's cute. That's super cute. Next one. I ordered one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Six begonias in total. Okay. This one's a little itty booty fella. Okay. He looks like he might need a terrarium or something. Because he's very low growing. Okay, so this one is this one is um, labeled. So I think it's the fumuculata. 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 I'll put him on the bottom. But this is the begonia. It reminds me of the tiger kitten or tiger lily tiger kitten one just like a smaller one but it's super stinking cute and it's got like its leaves are like very firm very hard leaves ah, I'm killing myself um but yeah this is super super stinking cute real cute I like that I like that one um, next up is this begonia. Let's see which one this one is. I think this one is the, yeah, 
Begonia erythrophylla beef steak. So this is the beef steak begonia and it looks like it's just starting to propagate. So it has the little babies right there, which is super cute. So that's the beef steak begonia right there. I'll put them in the front. Oh, excuse me. Next up, I'm having to like open it low. I'm sorry for this. Um, because I don't want dirt to be everywhere. Okay, wow. All right. This one is a cute one. Okay. So this one is Begonia Tangaluma. Begonia Tangaluma. Also very hard leaves. These are the backs. The backs and the fronts look the same, which is super cool. And this one is also a rhizomous one. And it's got like, oh, wow, it's flowering. Guys, it's flowering. That's cute. That's super cute. I'm so excited for this. And the thin, the, the thins, the stems <laughs> feel very sturdy, very strong. So they're not like jelly, like a lot of like very fragile plants are. This one doesn't, doesn't really feel fragile to me. Feels very strong, but that's, that's cute. That's super cute. I love it. All right, I'm gonna sit you right there. Next. Who's next? So this is one that I saw on Facebook and I immediately Googled it as the girl was showing it. But this is the Begonia Silver Jewel. Super cute. It's also rhizomous, but it doesn't, I'm gonna take this off. It doesn't have as big of a rhizome as the pap pap pulpinoy, um, in my opinion. But also, I heard the pulpinoy can also get to three feet tall. So this thing can get humongous. So I don't really expect that for this one, but it's still super cute. If you can see in there, there's the rhizome. Um, so yeah, super cute. I love it. Very velvety on the outside. Yeah. So the last and final begonia is, let's see if I can see. I have no idea what any of these, I didn't remember what any of these looked like, except for the Popinoy because I was actually researching that for a couple of weeks before I pulled the trigger. Oh wow, that's cute. That's cute. Um, so it's got like this texture, it's very textured on the outside. And then it has like these red undersides, which are so cute. Um, and this is Begonia Soila. Soily mutetai, muto, mutetai. I'll probably keep all of these labels for future names if I want to know the names in the future, which I probably will, and I will not remember any of it, any of these. So let's see if I can see the right Can I? Yes, I can. Kind of. So that one is super cute too. I love that. So that is the end of this collective unboxing haul of plants. I gave you philodendrons. I gave you begonias. I gave you sanginias. Um, I can't even remember what else. Hoyas, I gave you Hoyas. Clusias. Yeah, I can't even remember what else I unboxed. <laughs> I'm trying to look around for things. Yeah. 
so many things. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're um, ordering plants this staying in this time at this time um, don't feel bad actually name what plants that you're getting in the mail in the comments I want to know maybe I might go and uh, order some myself probably don't need to actually I know I don't need to but I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.